U.S. Physics Olympiad Year 2021 USA PHO Final Round Problem number 3 Great Hall The classical Hall effect was the first measured by Edwin Hall in 1879, shortly after the publication of Maxwell's equations. In all parts of this uh, problem, materials contain NV electrons per unit volume, and each electron has charge QE less than zero and uh, mass ME. You may use these quantities in all of your answers. We will begin by investigating the implications of the classical Hall effect. Part 1. An infinite plate in the xy plane with a thickness d in the z direction is uh, placed in a uniform magnetic field B equal B multiplied by unit vector z as shown. An electric field E equal E multiplied by unit vector x is applied in the plane of the plate and the system is allowed to reach a steady state. Question A. If the electrons have velocity v at steady state, what is the current density j? Recall that j is uh, defined as the total flow of a charge through a unit cross-section area per unit time. Question B. In the Drude model, electrons are subject to both the Lorentz force and damping force negative gamma v where gamma is a constant that depends on the material. In the above system, what is the current density in the steady state? Give uh, both the magnitude and the direction of J in polar coordinates. Question C. Compute the electrical resistivity rho zero equal limit for B going to zero for relation E over absolute value Jx and the transverse whole resistivity or H equal limit for gamma going to zero for relation E over absolute value Jy. Question D. A whole effect a sensor detects uh, the strength of uh, magnetic fields. Consider the following circuit consisted of a square plate of a side length L and thickness D in a perpendicular uniform magnetic field B. A longitudinal EMF E is applied to the plate. At steady state, a whole voltage VH is measured across the plate due to the buildup of a charge in either side of the plate. If the electrical resistivity of the plate at zero magnetic field is rho zero, what is the Hall voltage VH and the current I through the plate? Express your answer in terms of rho zero, E, B and the dimensions of the plate. Experiments in the 20th century revealed that in many materials the Hall resistivity could only take certain discrete values. We will now show how this uh, follows from Bohr quantization. These uh, next parts are independent of the first part of the problem. Part 2. A zero resistance uh, loop of a wire of radius R and the cross-sectional Area AW carries counterclockwise current I. Solenoid through the middle of the loops carries magnetic flux F out of the page, which we uh, define to be the positive Z direction. Question A. If the electrons all have the same speed, what is the angular momentum of each electron? Question B. If we allow the flux in the solenoid to change the usual mechanical angular momentum L of each electron is not conserved. Instead, quantity called the canonical angular momentum L can equal L plus C Q E F 
for some constant C is a conserved. Find C. Question C. The Bohr quantization condition says that uh, for a closed circular orbit and the integer number of the De Broglie wavelengths must uh, fit in the circumference. The De Broglie wavelength is uh, lambda equal h over p can, where h is uh, Planck's constant and the p can equal l can over r is the canonical momentum. For a given solenoid flux f, what is the set of allowed mechanical angular momenta l? Question D. What is the momentum possible change in the magnetic flux for which the same set of mechanical angular momenta is allowed? This is uh, known as a flux quantum. Part 3. Now consider an annulus held perpendicular to a fixed uniform external magnetic field B and uh, suppose an additional tunable magnetic flux F threads the center of the annulus with the both uh, pointing out of the page. The annulus has a transverse hole resistance RH and EMF of E around the annulus generates a perpendicular current E over RH via hole effect and uh, you may neglect its uh, self-inductance. Question A. Suppose F begins uh, to increase slowly and uh, steadily in time. After a short time, the electrons will begin flowing steadily from one side of the annulus to the other. Do the electrons move inward or outward? Justify your answer. Question B. If the threaded flux increases by delta F, how many electrons pass from one end of the annulus to the other? You may use RH among other variables in your answer. Question C. As we show it in 2D, if the magnetic flux changes by the flux quantum FQ, the allowed orbits from Bohr quantization are unchanged. Quantum mechanics thus tell us that in uh, conventional materials, if the magnetic flux changes by FQ, an integer number K of the electrons must pass from one edge to another. What constraint does this uh, place of the Hull resistance?